Let's talk about logic gates. We're going to take a look at the 7400 series, and we're going to use the CMOS version. Now, to identify the number on the chip, the first two letters are the manufacturer. MM happens to stand for Fairchild. The 74 is the series, and that's the commercial grade. 64 would be industrial grade, and 54 would be the military grade. The next two letters is HC, is a TTL family. H is for high speed, and C is for CMOS. And the next two digits are the device number. Now, uh, zero, 00 is a quad uh, two, put in, two input NAND gate. So that's four uh, NAND gates. Uh, an O2 would be uh, four NOR gates. A four would be a hex inverter. That's six uh, inverters. And uh, eight would be uh, four AND gates. 32 is uh, four OR gates. And a 60, 86 is uh, exclusive OR gate. We're going we're gonna to test all those. Now, the uh, TTLs use uh, BJTs, just transistors, while the CMOS use uh, FETs. Now, the CMOS consume less power at rest, and but the CMOS, they're, they're more susceptible to uh, static. But these uh, Fairchild ones have a uh, uh, diode clamping built into them on the inputs to, uh, to reduce that. And they'll have the ability to drive 10 TTL loads, so uh, each one of these units can drive 10 more in series uh, are parallel with the uh, from the output there. Now we're going to take a look at a, uh, a NAND gate here. Now they all have different uh, uh, symbols here and this this little zero after the uh, after the unit here that's a uh, that means that it's an inver inverted so uh, this is not AND, zero, 00 series has, uh, it's, it's configured this way. So you have the, uh, the two inputs here and the output here. Whereas a, an O2 has the two uh, outputs here and the input on this side. So this is what it looks like here, and it is in, inverted here. So we'll give it a try. That's this unit here. Now it's a, a NAND gate, so that means that it lights uh, right now it's lit with the uh, two inputs are, are low. If we take one input and put it high, it's still lit. If you take the other one and put it high, then it goes out. So it's it's not AND, you know. Right now if it was an AND gate, it would be lit, but it's a not AND, so it's off when the uh, two inputs are high. The next one is a uh, NOR gate. That's a not OR. So Right now it's lit because uh, we have two, the tube inputs are, uh, are low. And if we take one and make it high, it goes off because it's a not or. And then we take the other input and make it, uh, make that one high. So the only way to turn it on is to put both inputs low because they're, uh, it's a not not OR gate, you know. If both inputs were, one was high, one was low, it, it would, uh, and it was an OR gate, it would be on. Now this next one here, this is a, this is our inverter. It's got, here's a symbol for it here. It's got one input and, and one output. And all it does is it changes uh, the state here. And it has, a, you see the little zero after there. So right now it's on <clears throat> because the input is low. If I put the input high, the unit goes off, so goes on when the in, the unit is low and turns off when it is uh, high so that's our that's our inverter the next one's an AND gate now it's on because uh, both inputs are are high so it's AND and if we take one and put that low it goes off and we take them both both low and they're off so they both have to be high to be on, so that's a, that's an AND gate. Put it back in there. All right, but if I take one out, then it goes off. The next one is a uh, an OR gate. Now, it works when uh, one is high and one is low. If they're both low, it goes off. But if one is high and one is low, it goes on. 
and it also it'll it'll go on if they're both uh, high okay so when either one is high or they're both high the unit goes on and it'll go off when they're both uh, both units are both inputs are low now the next one's an exclusive or it's on when one input is high and one input is low and if both inputs are, are high it goes off and it's, it's ex exclusive it only works when one is high and one is low so that's the only time it comes on so that's our exclusive OR gate now they all have different symbols and the uh, of course the little zero there that's mean that's it's inverted and uh, you have to look at the spec sheet to see which uh, which way the the, uh, the inputs are on the on the units um, but uh, logic gates are the building blocks of digital circuits the 7400 series they're, they're five volts um, you can take a look at the uh, the 4000 series of logic uh, but the uh, the gates all work work the same that's just a small sample of what they have uh, anyway thank you